No arrests, no answers. More than one year after cyclist was murdered on a Raleigh Greenway. Yeah, tonight we're learning how 57 year old Chauncey Chip Depew Jr. was killed. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live for us tonight with this story. And Haley, you've also learned that the safety changes that were all promised when this happened have yet to be put in place. Yeah, that's right. It's parts of the trails like this one that make people very uneasy. This is a very isolated area. You can't even see past from where I'm standing right now. Now, this tunnel does have some lights, as you can see, but others don't. And many people are still scared knowing that Chip's killer is still out there. And you see he tracks like this is the same ride. It's the same ride Chip DePew Jr. took all the time, 10 miles around the Greenway. On August 20th, 2020, his ride was stopped short. So he was attacked heavily, repeatedly. Newly released information from the autopsy report shows DePew died from multiple stab wounds to his head and neck. Raleigh police still don't know who's responsible. It's even more scary knowing somebody was that violent did this to somebody I know. Cody Stokes was one of Depew's biking buddies. Every Wednesday we get together and, uh, you know, have a beer, ride, ride some bikes, and just have our community. Things have changed for the group. When I do go on a ride by myself, I'll share my live location to a group chat. Most of us tend to ride with a, a, with a friend. He says there hasn't been much done to make the Greenway safer, especially in the area where Depew was killed. There is a lot that we can do with adding lots of lighting along the greenway, adding security cameras, adding, you know, patrols. In July, city leaders plan to make those changes, including the creation of a special greenway patrol unit with six officers and a sergeant. I haven't seen any patrols uh, on the greenways. Stokes is worried these changes may come too late for another victim. I'm scared that that person's probably still out there hurting other people and they're allowed to continue operating in our city and in our community, preying on people. Raleigh police tell me that they are trying to get this patrol unit up and running. They did not give me a timeline. They also didn't answer my questions about when these lighting and surveillance changes could be expected. Anyone, of course, with information about this murder should contact the Raleigh Police Department. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. All right, Haley, thanks so much for that live report.